Have you ever wanted to become a millionaire? Of course you have. Well, oftentimes we don't know where to start, need some motivation or some insider knowledge from real successful people to help us get there. To be a millionaire, you have to have the right mindset, perhaps the right family. If you didn't get born with good stats, here at the Gabby Bell Gatekeeper channel, we believe that anyone can become a millionaire, no matter their RNG spawning into this world. So today we're going to be looking at the millionaire process TikTok account to help us get into that millionaire mindset. This account, this account is for the top 1%. Make money now. So I'm excited to dive into this knowledge and advice that they have to give us that will really prepare us for the millionaire lifestyle. But to join me on this endeavor, we have a very special guest, aspiring millionaire himself, Jordan Adika. Uh, Sigma is like when you're lonely, right? Sigma is when you're lonely, Alpha is when you're leading the pack, Beta is when you're suckling on someone else's tip. What's the That's other also pretty lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I stumbled across this account. Okay. Don't worry, I've pre-vetted you because this is for the top 1% only. Like fiscally? Like I am, I am already a millionaire for this? You know, yeah, yeah, this is advice for people who are already millionaires. Yeah, um, you probably I'll pass. don't need I don't the think advice I then. Need... I guess we can end the video now. <laughs> also, 552,000 followers, I, somebody's lying. There's some non-millionaires in there. Yes, okay, so at a glance, we have a couple of reoccurring characters on this show. We have Tate, what was he arrested for? He was arrested recently for, it's like suspected human f***ing. <laughs> What? And I think he moved to Romania because their laws were a little more lax on this sort of thing. On the king. Specifically on like sex assault and stuff. Wow. We also have Steve Harvey. We also have Myron from the Musty and Dusty podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the millionaire? We also have Jordan Peterson, the true alpha male. He sucks, but I love him in a way. Me he's too. Just so sad. <laughs> he's got an amazing presentation. He's 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 really a testament to how tone can inform people because uh, yeah. I've benefited benefited from this myself if, uh, to to some degree in that it, people might think I'm slightly mildly competent in anything that I do, um, <laughs> but I'm instead a shyster, a charlatan, a snake oil salesman of content. Yeah, it's all it's all lies. <laughs> It's just in the Jeez. presentation. We also have Logan Paul. Okay, well, millionaire, okay. Yeah, okay, at least that. And we have Shaq and uh, one of the Jimmys. So that's good enough. I always mix up Jimmy Fallon and like Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel, it, uh, the name Kimmel sticks with me because it sounds like Kibble? what he looks like, which is like a little goblin, you know? <laughs> My name is Kimmel. Can you solve Kimmel's riddles? You know. Kimmel wants the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and James Funny. Corden is there as like he's no. the Samwise Ganji to. Oh wait, no, K Fallon is the the goblin. So ready, this is advice. Let's get into the actual advice. <laughs> Maybe we'll just start with the first one. Yeah. And I just want someone to hug right now. I don't hug nobody. I'm fucking bigger through garbage. You do that <laughs> if you want to hug. Sorry, Sorry to hear that. that. I'm so get away from me, my friend. All right, well, I want you to have yeah. this. Right? Okay. God bless you. Ever felt like giving up? Think about why you held on for so long. Can you do me a favor? Keep fighting for the both of us. What? Okay, wait. So let's let's track it back a little bit because as all discussions of stuff like this must acknowledge. It's fake. <laughs> it's not real, which means that there has to, there's there's a process here. There's a script. Two guys both called James, right, with the Jimmy's return, and they sit down Correct. in their, their shared one bedroom apartment that their dad pays for. <laughs> and they sit down and they say like, okay, how do we, how are we gonna wow the populace? I thought there'd be money in it. I thought yeah. that's what they were doing. Cause he found him annoying. <laughs> Stop saying weird trite stuff to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to live here. And then he went away, gave him a note that was weird and trite. Hey, Jordan. Hey, 
Thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. If you're browsing the internet without a VPN, even if you're just chilling at home, your privacy is still at risk. Your internet service provider knows every single website you go to. And while you might think that's not a big deal, they sell your data to marketing and advertising agencies. Attached to your real name, address, and ultimately knowing way too much about you and sharing it with other people. So I think it's absolutely critical to add Surfshark VPN into your list of online habits to keep you safe online. Aside from that, using a VPN can unblock videos, movies, and shows that aren't available in your country, which is so cool if you're curious or want to learn what shows in other countries are like. Or if you have international family like me, you can keep up with the shows that they're watching too, as if you're right there along with them. So go to surfshark.deals gatekeeper for 83% off and an extra three months free just for you, just for the gatekeepers. And back to the video. And a stack of cash, apparently. I didn't really oh, see Oh, he did that, give him money. At Wealth. So the millionaire process stole this from At Wealth. That's how, that's how you become a millionaire. There's a lot going on here because it is... Okay, so I, I was wrong. It is that they did include money, which makes it make slightly more sense. Yeah, at first I thought but, he just got the note and I was like, that's so... That's kind of worthless. <laughs> that sucks. Just keep going, man. Just keep going. You got this. Oh, dude. It's, it, this is my least favorite type of Twitter user where they're just like... Ju it's just, you know, Wednesday, 2 p.m. It's like, hey, gang, you're badass. Don't ever give up. Keep on... Grind it, dream team. You know, just one of those. Whoever's reading this, I hope you have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Having Stay friends blessed. is awesome. <laughs> Remember that there are people in your life that care about you. Maybe not. I, <laughs> <laughs> I like this comment. One, he's not homeless. I mean, just look at him. Two, it's kind of stay. Stay good. <laughs> Oh, it is kind of stagage. It is it is a little stagage. And he's not even homeless. Look, he's not wearing the uniform. And then someone said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like it. Hell yeah. Wait, no, it is the note that's blowing his mind. Because there's no money in his hand. Look, when does the money come into it? There's one leaflet of pay of money. Right, that is the most Italian-American like equivalent <laughs> of OMG ever. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Gabagool. <laughs> It'd be so funny if it just said Mama Mia. Mama Mia. <laughs> Mama Mia. <laughs> Mama, I'm f***ing picking through the garbage. Mama Mia. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for my mama's gabagool. I'm a cool dad. I don't know what the takeaway from that one is, but I... Well, it's not. Apparently, the millionaire process is giving money away, which is, I mean, refreshing, I guess. Okay, yeah, okay. That Maybe goes. that's a good start. Maybe we'll look for the silver lining. All right, so this one is... Uh, why do why do they always have a red solo cup? It's like a paid actor. Because they didn't get invited to the parties at the time where you would have a red solo cup. True, so now they're throwing... <gasps> I know this set. They're on Fresh and Fit... Po He's on Fresh and Fit I Podcast. See. They collab. Are you, sh are you sure they're not on Itsta? It. It's it, it it street. It's, welcome to it street. You're not homeless. Just look at you. And Poe. God damn. This really is the the Avengers of shitheads. It really is. All condensed into one account. Thank you, millionaire process. The king moves one square at a time. The queen can jump across the board. When you go out to these boats out here in in Miami, right? Mm -hmm. You see a yacht. The man who's on that boat, he had to work his ass hard all his life, one hard. square at a time, to get on that boat. Why did that say July 17? All his life, including the 17th. Especially of July. July 17. How'd the b get on the boat? Instagram. Boom. Hi. Across the board. Bang. Done. She ain't doing the hard work. Also, you can apply it the same way. You, the queen is a valuable piece, and it is, because any man out here with a good relationship knows how important it is to have a chick who actually supports you. And the queen's an important piece. But you can still win the game if the b dies. Whoa. <laughs> He treats the queen like a just a valuable piece that when you're done with it, you can just throw it away. If, if she dies, uh, I don't yeah. give a fuck. I didn't kill her. I promise. Something you'd like, but is ultimately disposable. Yeah, exactly. The queen is disposable. Definitely not the most powerful piece in the game. Dude, if you think about chess, the king is the most useless piece. <laughs> it's so funny because these are the it, this is the exact same demographic that would say like, well, uh, you know, should somebody in a position of extreme wealth basically cheat the economic system to retain tax and not pay their taxes, they would say like, that's the game, baby. Donate the player, eat the game. You gotta play the ch chessboard, better bring the horns, you know? And it doesn't, in this case where it's just, A, not true. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, Instagram is just the fast forward, um, especially not in a game that was created a thousand years ago. I mean, is, is he <laughs> suggesting that that's implied by chess? I don't know, my brain shut off. The king moves one square at a time. So far, factual information, thank yeah. you. Slow and weak. Yeah. yeah, he's slow, weak, and if you get the king, you lose the game. He's obje It's yeah. objectively the worst piece in the game. 
is the king. So I don't know what extremely, he's saying here. Extremely codependent. Yeah, like the the king can't do shit on his own in, in chess. He can't do anything. The queen can Without jump his, across the board. His... Yeah, the queen can do everything. Basically. When you go out to these boats out here and- Where did we get boats from? Okay, <laughs> <clears throat> now we're introducing boats in Miami. Okay. <laughs> I just realized he talks like Biden. No. Where it's just like he he can't be more than three words ahead of what he was saying, and then he remembers what the topic is. So he's like, uh, the king moves uh, one, one square at a time, Jack, and then and that's how. And when you're on a boat and you're fishing, that's when you're looking for carp, and and that's how that's you know, and that's my definition of skateboarding. Out here in Miami, in blue, this is important. In case you forget. I like how they highlight random words. That's where boats are. The man who's on that boat, he had to- In case you didn't know who the man was, they had an emoji. This comment, oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Rough reality, it's facts though. It's facts though, yeah. Fabian, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we need STFU hero. I know, we need that well. STFU guy. Who's on that boat, he had to work his ass hard. All all, All his, his life, life. One square at a time to get on that boat. What is the... If you see the motion he was doing, by the way, he has to <clears> work <throat> his ass hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a work washer. Ass. I'm an alpha. I'm in jail. <laughs> I'm in jail. So, okay. So he's saying the king, like the guy who owns a yacht, has yes. to work his ass off, which is, first of all, doesn't even make sense because the king in chess doesn't even do that. Mostly stays still. If, in fact, if you're playing well or if you're winning quickly... The king hides. And he's saying the queen gets on the boat. Okay. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's a it's Biden moment. So he's saying, and then the queen profits off of the guy's hard work by doing basically nothing. Also doesn't make sense with chess. <laughs> it's but it's okay. got literally nothing to do with chess at all. Cross the board. Bang, done. She ain't doing the hard work. She literally did the hard work. That's what the queen <laughs> yeah, does. Just, what does he think? Does he think chess is going to the other side of the board? Yeah, it's like capture the flag. That's literally what he thinks chess is. Because he's saying, well, the, she's cheating because she's able to get there quicker. Is what he's saying is that, like, women start ahead in life while men have to work harder to get there? Finally. Like, we already have the ability to... Well, you have Instagram. I can't... Yeah, you're right. You know what? You're right. <laughs> he's right. I think it's time for men to be set on an equal playing field with women. Finally. Okay, I can't f***ing take this one anymore. <laughs> I know, I'm shaking. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god! God, he really is like dark timeline Noel Miller. <laughs> I, I hate this. Steve Harvey. Maybe it'll be a little better. Steve Harvey, imp frustratingly likable despite being a huge piece of shit. Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. <laughs> yeah, that Get one. away from your family members that ain't ever opened the- The early clapper. It was like one early clapper. I was like, yeah, oh, oh I have to let him oh. finish. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from your family members that ain't ever opened the business. Get away from your family members that ain't ever followed their dream. Get away from your family members that ain't never been nowhere but to the family reunion. Get away from them. Get away from them. Get away, they're gonna get you. <laughs> They've never opened a business, look out. Ooh, a lot of that was a distance yourself from the less fortunate members of your family. <laughs> I think I get what he's trying to say. Okay, hold on, let's let, let, well, I guess we'll let him finish. When I told everybody I was getting into comedy, man, oh, Lord have mercy. You can't get into comedy. You ain't even funny. How you gonna make money telling jokes? <laughs> now, in the beginning, Oh, oh I, I thought he was done. <laughs> it looked like they was right, but I never gave up. <laughs> the, the important thing is stop talking to your family members, cut your mother out of your life. If you have children over the age of five that have not opened a business, <laughs> give them up for adoption. Anybody that's poorer, any member of your family that's never hosted Family Feud. I think I get what he's trying to say, where people will doubt you and try to get you to stop chasing <laughs> your dreams. It's a pretty intense version of that. Cut people out of your life. Get away. Run. They're gonna get you. They're behind you. <laughs> They're behind you. Watch out. That? Yeah, that's good millionaire advice. I think it's pretty good. Let's complete the trifecta of Alpha yeah. with uh, <laughs> Myron. Oh my God, wait. This shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sif A lot from of Toy similarities, Story. actually. Same haircut. <laughs> it same, is. <laughs> same lineup. <laughs> Peep the lineup. This is also like a shirt that 
kids would wear in middle school. I just, I love that he's about to spit some millionaire advice with this shirt on. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. If a girl is your girlfriend, she is your main woman, and she's advertising her body on the internet for other men to look at, that is f cheating. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is his whole thing, right? He, I mean, it is just so, tell me you've never actually dated anyone without telling me you've never actually dated anyone. Yes, I was gonna say, tell me you're insecure without telling me you're insecure. And then they'll claim that they're not. He talks about it like a dog that you don't trust not to run away. Yeah, exactly. Like, keep the leash on. It's like, well, my dog actually loves me, so it's gonna stick around. It's like, this dog will get away at any chance. Gotta put that leash on. Oh, he said something. Advertising her body, like it's Craigslist. Like you post a picture of you at the beach with your friends and you're like, five ninety nine, slightly damaged. Uh, <laughs> Free use. Five ninety nine or best offer. <laughs> ten thousand miles. Yeah, only has ten thousand miles. <laughs> get get Stephanie off the gram, and that's how you'll become a millionaire. Yeah. What is? Wait. We're about, so little of this is about money. Yeah. None of this is about money. All right. There's three comments on this one. I like how they reposted this TikTok, so it has the tag on it already, and. It's baked into the video. Even further cropped in. Yeah, exactly. It's not okay. It's necessary. Oh, that's a growing one. What the hell are we gonna do without men? <laughs> you look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up. These men, they're doing impossible things. They're under the streets, working. He seems confused. <laughs> He's like having a crisis. What are all the men? Where are they? <laughs> no, no. Where are they? I'm looking around. I'm looking in my suit pocket. <laughs> I'm looking at these buildings. These buildings aren't Where are all the men? I'm so confused. I'm looking on the sidewalk. There's a bunch of shoes and legs, but I don't see any men. The guy doesn't have any object permanence. <laughs> yeah, <he's... laughs> Where are all the men? Working on the sewers. They're so up on the much. power line. <laughs> he's so The gift that never stops giving. I can't he's really... just insane. <laughs> it's I <laughs> All right, apparently the men are on the power lines. They're like little birds on the power lines. Possible things, they're under the streets, working on the sewers, they're up on the power lines, in the storms and the, and the rain, they're keeping this impossible infrastructure functioning. What the, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. He's losing it, man. Under <laughs> the storms. That's when he thinks electricity is like a fucking Neanderthal. There's some guy holding an umbrella up into the air during a thunderstorm. <laughs> they're holding a kite with a key on it. They're hanging out in the sewers with turtles. Yeah, they're up in the air. They're down in the ground. They're in the water. They're mermaids. It sounds, like, it sounds like he's scared of men. Yeah, he looks like extremely confused. Like I am concerned for him. This thing that works in a miraculous manner. They work themselves to death and often literally and, and the gratitude for that is sore, sorely lacking, especially among the people who should be most grateful. Oh, who might those be? Who in particular should be most thankful to the men? Not me. I'm not thankful. <laughs> <laughs> not thankful that they're up in the clouds? <laughs> yeah, I'm not thankful. <laughs> Putting lightning in a bag. <laughs> Going off and catching some lightning for us <laughs> plebeians. This is truly like, it, I mean, genuinely, it's like he's having an acid trip. Like the way that he's finding it, th that thing where you like find profoundness in word association is just like they're in the sky and the sewer. It's like if you're like high, you're like, yeah, wow, a, a plane really is the boat of up. Maybe that's the secret. Like he, you can only understand him if you're high. Very useful to tell everyone, not just men, that they have an important role to play, a necessary role, and that if they act properly and honestly and forthrightly that they can put their lives together and they can help their families and they can make their communities better. Is he on the verge of tears? Oh, that's his whole game. That, that's his super saiyan form. He gets really? lost in these little tirades and then at the end he just, these young men. He, Is he okay? Was, no. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like no. the tricky thing about Jordan Peterson is that like the reason he appeals to people is because on some on like a foundational level, he's making a valuable point, which is that the people that make up his audience feel disenfranchised by a world that's like Unfair. not valuing. Yeah, it, yeah it's unfair. They're confused. 
They're told it's a meritocracy. They're told that masculine values are X and Y, and yet they're not being rewarded for that. The reaction to that feeling should not be tearing other things down. It's not... When you hear, like, well, there's, like, a masculine genocide, that implies, like, the loss of something. It's more just, like, a kind of, let's just be a little broader in it. It's like, if, if trans women are allowed to go into their bathroom of choice, then men will fall off of the power lines. It's like, no one, like, yeah, they'll fall off of the power <laughs> And that that's not toxic masculinity. That appalling phrase. It's not a... What? Oh, hold on. <laughs> well, because in the middle of this, he starts going like, everyone, he says everyone, not just men, has a role to play in society and we can all help our families, question mark. And that's not toxic masculinity. What's not? <laughs> you, what's not? You just said that they're in the sewers and in the sky. <laughs> I mean, he's right, I guess. <laughs> a man being in the sky is not toxic masculinity. <laughs> I'm too dumb to understand. I, I, that must be it. Was that Dennis the Menace looking ass on the left? Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! And that's how you'll become a millionaire. That is the millionaire mindset. <laughs> Never let them know your next move. Hashtag dance. <laughs> Hashtag break dance. I think I get that one. You, you do? <laughs> I think that one, I yeah, I align with. Again, this is your experience of always moving to the other side of the chessboard without work or something. Yeah. Uh, limits your appreciation for this. But a lot of the you're time right, yeah. when you're working every day to build a yacht out of power lines, you have to... <laughs> Really focus on throwing your hat, but not actually. Yeah, faking him out. And me, yes. I'll just go on Instagram and message him for the hat and he'll give me the hat. So. <laughs> the most likable one so far. Yeah, I think that's probably my favorite one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just close my eyes. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm not clicking on anything. Somebody sent me a okay. plaque. Okay. Okay. All right. See you On me. instinct. Somebody sent me a plaque today that one day that said, uh, don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he saw he made moves you wouldn't make. Never let anybody see him. Like God, never let anybody guess your next move. Never let people into your life is what Steve Harvey is <laughs> We saying. are back on theme, aren't we? Yeah, we've, that's we've... kind of the same sentiment. Take people out of your life, and then sometimes if you're lucky, <laughs> capital H him will take them out of your life for you. Oh, fuck, that's a little ominous. What's up? <laughs> yeah, what's good, Steve? <laughs> Not much. How'd they send him a plaque to, like, his... P.O. box? They sent him a silver YouTube plaque with that quote <laughs> written in Sharpie. What's up? Not much. How about you? I think they'll respond. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Also, thanks for the double watermark again. <laughs> this is, I mean, all jokes aside, of all of these pages I've seen, so far this has had the least financial related, con by, like <laughs> by a huge margin. <laughs> It's very like, true. It's this. This is like closer to one of those ones that's just Peaky Blinders clips. And it's like, that's what it's like to be a real lad. I want one with money. I, I need a money one. Tell me that you're extremely wealthy without telling me that you're extremely wealthy. That was like ASMR. Tell me you're wealthy without yeah, I mean. telling me you're... Fucking <laughs> 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 was so good you actually dropped an F. What is this shirt? <laughs> what is what this shirt? What the fuck is this shirt? When it was cropped differently, I'm like, okay, it's a strange shirt, but then a third apostrophe. <laughs> Never let them guess your next move. Yeah, seriously, because you get like... No, no, I didn't mean to like it. No. You actually dropped an F-bomb uh, before the game here when I interviewed you, and so I've just been informed that you've actually been fined $15,000. Uh, and it's it's okay though because it's going to a good cause. It's going to Cyber Smile. Do you take back the f bomb or are you you're standing by it? So if I say it again, I have to pay another fifteen k. Hey, you want to up it to thirty thousand? Fuck it. Damn, dude. When when you're rich. The face when you're rich and you create your own grammar. Okay, so this is how much money you need to be in the top one percent of your age group. Um. Holy fuck, that audio was is going through like a fucking blender. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opposite of ASMR. That, this is the one financial related video, I guess. And it's 
strange. What? They skipped the 40s. Where's 40 to 49? Oh, we well, don't need, need any money. You use the $1.25 million that you already had. This thing, the thing is, I don't know if this is right. It seems wrong. I'm gonna need a source. <laughs> what if you're chasing football in college? We'll keep going, buddy. Because you used the wrong your. Get you fucking idiot. Owned. Get fucking you owned. Idiot. Epic wreck. D do you feel like you're prepared to be a millionaire now? Well, I'll, I'll have you know for a fact that um, within the 49 to 50, which is uh, 49 to 65 years old in that bracket, which yeah. I am, um, I actually meet that 1%, if you can believe it. Now, does it seem like that from my behavior, things that I purchase? What you're forgetting is that I move one square at a time and you and it's the you slide around on it and the men are on the power lines and they're with the turtles underground or something. Yep. And that is why 